feel like I'm in a tornado right now. I cannot see. This is terrifying. Don't you hate it when the trip starts like this? Me too, but we're heading to Chattanooga, Tennessee for a week of scenic riding around Tennessee and North Carolina. Welcome to Tennessee. Thanks. Glad to be here. Our first stop finds us at White Oak Mountain with my friend Dan and his cousin Zach, who just so happens to be a local. With the leaves falling and the ground wet, oh, man. we start our ascent up the Green Trail Pine following a very humble Zach. <laughs> so slippery. I can already tell Zach's a beast. He's pulling away on his climbs. Even my Aero XC spandex was no match for a local who is used to actual elevation change. Despite how ridiculous I look, let's go ahead and descend down the Black Diamond Cottontail. This shit is fast and flowy with the perfect amount of jumps for a good time. I definitely hate getting inside of my own head, but I did on these slick trails. All these wet roots and leaves are basically like ice, and I don't feel like crashing on my first day. Next, let's go check out Nutty Buddy, which was definitely my favorite trail at this place. Listed as a black diamond Ooh. flow trail, this one was even faster with progressive features that are all caseable. But don't let my spandex fool you, this XC boy is ready to soar. Oh yeah. <laughs> Woo. Here come the Spanx. Woo. I'll show you what XC can do. Woo. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Not bad, old man, but we're about to meet some kids yes. that seriously rip. Oh. <laughs> this is so fun. Oh. <laughs> yes! Caleb is sending it. <laughs> That is so cool. I don't know how old he is. He's probably like 10, 11, 12, maybe. Maybe even younger. Mountain biking is alive in Chattanooga. <laughs> Thank you to Caleb and Carson for showing us around a bit. The following day finds us at Raccoon Mountain for a foggy descent down Livewire. <laughs> you may recall a few videos back I put on these Kenda Booster XC tires to save some serious weight, but as the packaging clearly states, these tires do not excel in wet or muddy conditions. So brace yourself for some snail paced downhill as I still get accustomed to these tires and wet riding. There were a couple heart-stopping moments on some slippery routes, but to be honest, these tires outperformed my expectations given the conditions. Yeah. Woo. Drop. Oh, this is so good. Oh. Nice. Oh. Holy crap. Oh. Up, up, up. Thank you. After flowing down Livewire, we told Zach that us Texas folk are into some tech riding, which led us to Livewire 2. A complete 180 of a trail from the other Livewire. It was mostly flat with slow technical chunk, 
Stuff I really enjoy, but fatigue is starting to get all three of us. The last half of this ride really put us all into, let's just survive this and go get lunch mode. My hands, yeah, that's rough. Starting to make those sloppy mistakes. That's super slippery. Oh God, oh God, oh God, oh yes, good save. Chattanooga was a really cool town with even cooler trails. Definitely a change of pace from most Texas trails. By the looks of it, Chattanooga has a lot more trails to offer but we're waking up early the next morning and making our way to North Carolina to ride DuPont State Forest and Pisgah National Forest. A huge thank you to Zach and Don for letting me camp in your front yard and for all of your hospitality while we're in Chattanooga. And also thank you to Dan for inviting me on this awesome trip. Thank you for watching and be sure to stay tuned for part two when we're in North Carolina. I appreciate you watching and until next time, stay rowdy within reason. really is what life is about, you know? Yeah. Are you <laughs> recording me struggling to get my... Yeah.